of course, we got to focus on the quarterback specifically when you have a generational quarterback playing in a Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes is going to command a certain amount of attention. And I honestly, I see this as a no lose scenario for Patrick Mahomes. I mean, obviously he wants to win the game. He's a competitive guy, but this chiefs team as recently as December didn't look like it was supposed to be here. So if the chiefs lose this game for me personally, it doesn't change my opinion of him. Whereas if they win, now he's really entering rarefied air among all-time great quarterbacks. I mean, if he wins this Super Bowl, then only three quarterbacks will have won more than him. And he's just 28 years old. He'd be tied with Troy Aikman with three, Terry Bradshaw, Joe Montana, and obviously Tom Brady would have more. But to- but again, Patrick Mahomes is not even... He's. I mean, he's still got another year before he turns 30. So I think you cement an all-time great legacy with a win here. But I really don't think a loss hurts him all that much either. What do you think, Ben? I don't think it hurts him either, Dave. And I think for me, like, we've seen a different aspect of Patrick Mahomes' greatness this season. I think that's what I think about the most because it has been an extremely frustrating frustrating season for him. There have been all those drops leading the league like that wide receiver group leading the NFL in, in drops more than any other wide receiver group since the 2012 Jacksonville Jaguars. There have been the penalties. There have been kind of all these mishaps. There have been those sideline outbursts, right? Like we've kind of known for his previous se- se- several years to be always calm and in control. And there were times where the emotions got, uh, to him because of the frustration and, and whatnot, but being able to kind of com- com- compartmentalize all that w- when it is mattered most, turning it on after Christmas, uh, really putting aside what was the worst statistical year of his career in terms of being a starter, and within that still reminding us that he is Patrick Mahomes, that he's still the best football player on earth, Uh I think that says so much more about Mahomes. Like it it just kind of adds a different dimension to it. And uh, I I think maybe this is more about maybe an overarching theme about the Chiefs this year too, which are obviously different, but that they just have an edge that they haven't had to have in previous years because everyone just kind of expected them to be uh, competing for the Super Bowl and having this dynamic offense and all this pizzazz and whatnot. But it's been more of a slog this year. It's been more of a grind. And I think Patrick Mahomes, starting with Patrick Mahomes, they've had to embody more of a chip on their shoulder. And I think that's only fueled them. Like if you remember what Deion Dawkins said uh, before they played the bills in the AFC divisional round. uh, And and he basically, I don't remember the extent of like his remarks with the media, but at the end he, he, he was basically wishing like Mahomes and the chiefs, like quote, good luck. And then, Obviously, the Chiefs beat them in Buffalo, and then his Instagram post after the game is like, you know, quote, good luck, end quote. You know, like like, like this this Mahomes, I feel like, is more edgy, or at least it's come out of him uh, because of the circumstances of this year. And I think to kind of tie it all back, like I think it just shows a different aspect to his greatness. <laughs> I think that's a really good point. And, I mean, you saw it last weekend too, like – Look, I'm I'm not trying to take sides in the Justin Tucker kerfluffle. I really don't care. But for the greatest quarterback of all time to like be dusting it up with the kicker of the other team, like yeah, Pat Pat Mahomes has a chip on his shoulder and I do think I'm sure he's always been a competitive guy. But the first few years of his career, it almost felt like he was happy go lucky. Like that yeah. meme of like he was like what? Like this is supposed to be hard? Like he just showed up and had these great teams from the get. And now I think Patrick Mahomes has a much deeper appreciation for how hard this stuff really is going through this season. I mean, I made the joke. He's a few, I think a few dropped passes. Like if, if Kadarius Tony and MVS hold on to a few extra balls, it's not a stretch to see Patrick Mahomes winning back-to-back MVPs and having the Chiefs in back-to-back Super Bowls, and that's the the margin of error. And and as competitive as he is, I bet he's a little bit pissed off about some of the opportunities that were missed this season. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and I know he's kind of talked about that too, but uh, but yeah, it, it just I, I think it just kind of goes back to being able to bring that all in, com compartmentalize all that, focus on the task at hand and uh bring out that edge uh to him uh to to, to kind of lead the Chiefs in this way has been like really cool to see and and you know, kind of showing that edge that we've seen like the greatest of all time show, whether it's Tom Brady in his, in his own sport or like a Michael Jordan. And, and obviously their personalities are totally different, but I think even in like the last dance documentary, you, you saw like how all those little things would piss off Michael Jordan in, in just an insane way, whether, whether it's something someone said and just dropping 50 on them. And now we're starting to see that like, you can't, you, you can't piss off Patrick Mahomes or you're going to pay in a big way. And I think that's, that's really like, like that's maybe the most awesome thing that that's maybe come out of this, like as a, an observer of sports, like just seeing that come out of him. And I think a similar thing to Michael Jordan is like, if he can't, if something doesn't happen organically to piss him off, he's going to make something up to get exactly. where he needs to go, which, Hey, it's better entertainment value for me. So I'm all about it. So I, I, I think we agree. Like, I mean, this would just be, this would be a crowning achievement. I mean, dragging this team can't say dragging the defense has obviously been incredible, but getting this team to a championship after some of the downs they've been through. I mean, I, I think it, it cements him on the Mount Rushmore of NFL quarterbacks in my opinion, but even, even if you lose, I mean, Hey, Tom Brady lost three of these things too. It's, I you know, I don't know that, I'm holding Patrick Mahomes to some standard where he has to win this game every time he gets there, particularly against a, a team as loaded as San Francisco.